Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, so today I'm going to be unboxing something super, super cool. In fact, let me find it. Ah! It was right behind me. <laughs> so the story behind this pedal, morning coffee, is that I was hanging out on Skype with the the guys at Dark Glass and they started talking about this pedal, the Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega. And I was just like, dudes, send me one. I want to try it out. And they said, it's in the post. And I'm going to unbox it for you guys. And then I'm going to top off this, uh, this video by telling you exactly how you can get this exact pedal or this, this specific pedal sent to your place totally for free. Well that's cool. I thought I was just getting one pedal. We've got three. What does this mean? It means that I might be able to keep one. Win. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. And of course I'm gonna, let me just, and of course I'm gonna be testing this out, right? Let me just get a base. I'm gonna be testing out on this bad boy. But let's just open them up and see what we've got. If you don't know the guys at Dark Glass, they're, they're very cool. The boxes are super nice. Okay, so this is the one that I'm not gonna do today. Duality. Comes with nice little pads that you can stick on the bottom. Oh, okay, so this is a vin vintage Ultra. If I can open them. Woo! Oof. Sexy. This is my day completely ruined because I'm just gonna be horsing around on these all day. Anyway, the one we're looking at today is this little bad boy. You ready? Gubbins, instructions. Guys, I think you might have won it. Instructions that I can actually understand. Oh, this is it. Why don't all effects pedal manufacturers just have instructions like this? So this is it, right? So we all know you open up the street. Anything with warning on, warning. Just You just ignore that page, right? Controls, that's the page that really you know is what we're looking for technical specifications yeah disclaimer yeah something else yeah so this so they fit all of what you need to know onto one page that's what i wish people did just do this so people like me that have some sort of like a version to actually read in shit can actually you know operate the pedal without having to take a degree in how to do it. So packaging, sweet. Uh, looks sweet. It's like laser etched and stuff. It's like, it has, is a, as you'd expect from Dark Glass. I don't know if you've seen any of their stuff before, but it's really, really high quality. They're kind of like, I imagine them as the apple of, you know, bass effects and bass heads gear stuff. And I know right now a lot of people are going down to them comments saying, well, if it was Apple, it'd be overpriced, blah, blah, blah. I know, guys. I know everybody hates Apple out there, so, but... They don't break. They don't, at least for me. Anyway, back to uh, back to this pedal. I'm going to put it through its paces. But first, let me tell you a little bit. Actually, I'll tell you I'll tell you the story about this pedal when, we, when we've got the bass cranked up. Before we get stuck in and hear this little bad boy, I just want to give you a bit of a vibe about where it kind of originated from. Essentially, Doug at Dark Glass teamed up with a killing bass player, I think he's Australian, he plays in a band called Carnival and his name is John Stockman. And those guys got together and they came up with this little monster. I've been listening to Carnival stuff for 
not not like an incredibly long time. Probably I actually found out about John Stockman through Dark Glasses YouTube channel, weirdly enough, then got into them and one of their tracks, you've got to check it out, it's called Goliath, has a killing bass sound on it. In a nutshell, the, the way that John got that sound for that album was absolutely stacks of different amps in the same room, so they were recording and layering a lot of amps. I think that that is kind of where this is heading with this, with this pedal, because a lot of it, as you're going to hear when I plug this in and get this, uh, get it cranked up, is a lot of it, especially with this Alpha and Omega setting down here that we will talk about, is about mixing and blending two different distortion signals and getting a, a, a like, it just gives you a certain depth that you don't normally get through just a, a regular distortion or drive pedal. It's super, super cool. And you'll see like, th there's other cool features that I won't talk about too much, but like there's a, a DI on there, so you can like just record direct. And there's a an output, like a little weird output switch. I've got no idea what that does. Let's get into it and uh, hear this little beast in action. Okay, hopefully this is an okay setup. I've just been messing around trying to balance this. This little monkey, Gav and DMAC are in today, so I'm, I'm home alone. Okay, nobody move. It might fall over. So first of all, I just want to go through the basic settings with you, okay? I'm armed with my instructions here. And the cool thing is, is that the, the, the vibe with this pedal is that it's two overdrives in one, but you can blend them. In fact, if I was describing to you what this pedal is, is that there's a couple of different blending options. And that's the cool thing about it, because you can, like with a lot of distortion pedals, you can blend the clean signal with the distorted signal, because the, the issue is a lot of the time that when you're using a, a bass signal and you distort it, and there's no clean signal mixed in with that, then you get essentially like the bottom end drops out of the signal. So that's why a lot of these cool manufacturers like Dark Glass and the other guys that are, are doing a lot of cool distortion pedals are giving you the option to retain the clean signal as well as a distortion, distorted signal in there as well, okay? It's really important because when you get in a band, if you just kick on the distortion pedal, if it's the wrong distortion pedal, you're just gonna lose all the bottom end out of your signal and it's gonna, you're gonna sound like a, I don't know, like a guitar player. Yeah. So that's the first blendable option of this pedal. Then the next blendable option is this, it's like two different distortion pedals in one box. Alpha is punchy and tight with lots of definition, whereas Omega is simply brutal and raw. Hence the name Alpha Omega, because it's two distortions in one pedal and you can blend them. So if you think about it, two blending options, you've got the clean signal and the distorted, distorted signal, and you've got the Alpha and Omega of the actual pedal as well. So let's take a look at the pedal. Okay, first of all, that's just my clean signal. Actually, I'm just gonna switch this up. Just clean signal, amp completely off. Now what you'll see here is that I've got the blend all the way off, the level all the way off, and the drive all the way off as well. I've done this for a reason, and I've got these toggle switches off as well, because what I want to do is just kick the distortion in, or the pedal in, and what you'll see is, that's just the, the dry sound, no pedal, put the pedal on, and I've, I've, I've got all the knobs turned off for the distortion stuff. And you'll hear there's almost... There's almost no variation at all. Now I know that might sound like common sense, but there's so many pedals that it says oh, it's not gonna affect your signal, and then you put it on and then you tweak something and it has some weird effect on the signal. Now, obviously this EQ is kicking in here, so if I... That does affect it. It's more mellow, if obviously you turn the treble down and you can get big bass. Like that. 
got a no bass. I'm just showing you the extremes here, just to show you. But what I've done, just to start off, is just let's keep that all as is, okay? So we've got the EQ in the middle. The way I look at it is that we've got this EQ section down here, these three knobs, okay? We've got this knob here, which controls the, uh, we can go between the two distortion circuits, alpha and omega, and we can blend the two. Okay, so we can have a little bit of one or a little bit of the other and back and forward. I'm gonna demo that in a minute. And then here on the top, this is the bit that you really need to just, just take two minutes and just get your head around, okay? Because it's actually really simple and I'm a complete technophobe as well. And I haven't read the instructions to figure this out. I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> okay, so the blend is the blend between the, the, clean, the clean signal distortion but because we've got the distortion of the drive all the way down as I turn this blend up what you can hear is that it just turns the actual signal down here we go and it's all the way off because what it's done there is this is full-on distortion so and this is full-on clean so you're what you can do that is blend between the two clean and distortion so if let's say we'll put this at the drive at 12 o'clock okay now, as I bring up this blend control, what you're going to hear is the distortion coming in. But this is where this little bad boy comes in here. This is the level of the distortion. So I'm just going to play an open A, as you can hear now. It's still like super clean. Now, as I bring this blend up, it's going to bring the distortion in. Okay, so, and if I put the blend all the way to the top, whoop, that means there's no clean signal in there. Super, super cool. Let's put the drive all the way up so you can hear it as gnarly as it can get. Remember, if I put the blend all the way down, there'll be no distortion. And then I bring it up. Super gnarly, right? Now, next thing is that we've got these two switches here. I'm gonna read exactly what it says, okay? So the, what's the first one? Growl, kind of, probably makes it growl. Growl, ah, growl. Shelving bass boost for a fatter tone and increased low end saturation. Let me just put, read what the bite does. Bite boosts high mids for additional presence and definition. Okay, so it just gives it a little bit more zing on top. Top. More zing, a bit more lemon zest, a bit more salt on your food, a <laughs> bit more cream on your cake. Anyway, so that's what that does. Now, up until now, we've only done the alpha side. So now, what I'm going to do is show you the mega side. So let me just riff out a little bit. So. Over. 
the Omega side is just like much more honky. Just honky, like more, a lot, a lot more middle in the tone. Like check it out, what I'm gonna do, I'll make it easy for you to hear this. I'm gonna go between, let's turn the blend all the way up so you just, this is just so you can hear the difference, right? So the blend is all the way distortion. We've got no clean signal, okay? Here's the, that's the tone of the alpha. So I'm gonna, And you can get everything in between as well because you've got, you can obviously alter the amount of drive you've got. You can put the clean a bit, the signal in a bit here. And then you can, you don't have to have the alpha or the omega, you can have a mix of the two. So let's go in the middle. That's, uh, that's the alpha, omega, let's go right in the middle. Great usable tones, but also like a ton of different tones in between, and you get a whole load of different options because you can mix in the clean signal, you've got the level of the drive, you've got the volume of the drive. It's a ton of cool stuff in there, right? A ton of cool stuff. Okay, so who wants to win one of these little bad boys? Oh, what do I want you to do to win? How do you enter? Um, you guys got any ideas? <laughs> Okay, I've got it, right. So if you want to enter this competition, it's super easy. I'm just gonna ask you to do a couple of things, okay? First of all, I want you to subscribe to this channel, to you know my channel, so you can do that, I think by the red button below, somewhere below this player. Um, once you've done that, I want you to go to the comments and I want you to write hashtag dark glass yeah, hashtag dark glass alpha omega, and then I want you to tell me which of the settings in this video that you like the best, okay? Did you like alpha, did you like omega, did you like them both, okay? So I'm just gonna run through that again, okay? So if you wanna get entered in this competition, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, boom, below, and then I want you to write hashtag in the comments, hashtag dark glass alpha omega, and then I want you to tell me which setting you like the best. Then I'm going to, uh, when shall I wrap this up? And then in seven days, I'm gonna go through everybody's comments and then I'll give you a shout directly. So, get on it. Whoa, 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 where are you going? If you haven't subscribed to the Scott's Bass Lessons channel yet here on YouTube, click the link, subscribe. I release two videos like this every single week. You can also check out our other videos over there. And if you've not checked out scottsbasslessons.com membership, check it out. You can grab your 14 day free trial over there.